bit about your recent Supreme Court nominee. A lot of people have um, made the fact that he is Latino something that they just pointed out. Was that a factor to you? How do you think that will? Well, he also went to Yale Law School, which is very important. Uh, in fact, I've yet to appoint a non-Yale graduate to the Supreme Court this time around. Um, uh, I'm not unaware of the diversity of California and the growing importance of people of uh, Mexican, Spanish, Central American, uh, Latin American descent. So uh, when 50% of the kids uh, kindergarten through 12th grade um, are of uh, Latin descent, it's important that they see in all the positions of power uh, people who, uh, who they identify with. So that's, that's a thought. But I would also point out that this is a very accomplished individual who, um, you know, I don't know of any other graduates of a Calexico High School who uh, made it as far. Uh, he's a brilliant person. I have had a lot of chance to speak with him. I had the privilege to read the first and last chapter of his political science PhD dissertation. I was very impressed with it. Um, I didn't read all thousand footnotes, but I, I definitely looked at it. He's a very smart man. He's a very even-tempered person, and I think he'll um, definitely add uh, to the court. That's why, I, that's why I appointed him. But I'm very glad to say that, that um, uh, I'm going to Mexico next week. It's, I, I'm very glad that I was able to appoint a, a Mexican immigrant as uh, a key member of our highest court. Are you concerned he doesn't have any other judicial experience? No. Can you address the either Earl Warren or, or Chief Justice Roger Trainer, who's viewed as one of our great justices. Nor did Douglas, nor did Black, and nor did a lot of other people that are quite uh, quite famous.